Hello, this example is looking at Calculation USC, or otherwise known as the Universal Social Charge, on a cumulative basis. From the 1st of January 2012, USC is calculated on a cumulative basis. Prior to this, it was calculated on a week one basis. The Revenue Commissioners will provide each employer with USC cutoff points in respect of their employees. The rates of USC are 2%, 4% and 7% and the more you earn, the more USC you will pay. Looking at this example, we are given two cutoff points. USC rate 1 with a cutoff point of 193 euros. That effectively means that the first 193 Euro euros of this employee's pay will be subject to 2% USC. The next cutoff point is 308. So it is important to realize it's not 308 euros at 4%. It is actually the next amount of money up to 308. So in, in this case, it would be the next 115 euros per week would be at 4%. And I'm getting that figure from subtracting 308 from 193. So 193 euros will be at 2% and the next 115 euros will be at 4% and that will bring us up to 308 euros. Any income earned in excess of 308 in the week will be liable to USC at 7%. So let's just look at an example here. This example is in the format of the old tax deduction card. So what we are given here is the cumulative USC at rate one. So in week one, it's 193. Week two, it's 386, it's doubled. Week three, it's trebled. And week four, it's multiplied by four. We are also given the rate two cutoff point which is 308 in week one, 616 in week two, which is doubled, week three tripled, and week four, it's multiplied by four, and so on as the weeks go on. So in this particular example, in week one, the employee earns 215 euros, sorry, 250 euros. Because it's week one, the cumulative gross pay to date is also 250 euros. Before I would start any calculations, I always look to see how many rates of USC is going to apply. And you can do this very quickly by asking, is the income greater than 193? And yes, it is. So we know that 2% is going to um, apply. We also know because the income is greater than 193 euros, the 4% rate is going to apply. So does the 7% rate apply? Because we can see that the income is less than 308, the 7% rate is not going to apply in this particular week because the cutoff is 308 and the income is 250. So working this out, the first 193 euros off the pay is subject to 2% USC, which amounts to 3 euros and 86 cents. The difference then between 250 and 193 is liable to USC at 4%. So that amount is 57 euros at 4%, which comes to 228. We add the two amounts together, 386 and 228, which gives a total of 614. And this is the total amount that's going to be deducted in week two. We now look at week two, where the USC is 250 euros. The pay to date is 500, and that's 250 euros in week one and 250 euros in week two. Once again, let's just have a look to see how many rates we are going to be looking at in this particular week. Because the 500 euros, to the pay to date, exceeds 386, we're going to be looking at the 2% and we're also going to be looking at the 4%. But because it doesn't exceed the cutoff for the 4%, we're 
we know that we're not going to be going in to the 7% rate in this particular week. So in this particular week, the first 386 is liable to 2% uh, USC, which comes to 7.72. Okay. The next 114 euros, and I'm getting that from subtracting 500 euros from 386, is liable to 4%, which comes to 4.56. And there's no amount due at 7%. So the total amount of USC in week two is 772 and 456. That comes to 1228. Now look at week three. In week three, this employee's salary seems to have increased because he's getting paid 475 euros in week three. The gross pay to date is now 975 euros. That is 250 in week one, 250 in week two, and 475 in week three. Once again, let's just look at the rates of USC that's going to be applicable to this particular week's pay. Because it exceeds the cutoff of 2%, which is 579, we're going to be looking at 2% and we're also going to be looking at a portion of the pay at 4%. Because the 975 also exceeds the cutoff of 924, we know that a portion of that pay is going to be subject to 7% USC. That's going to go into the highest rate. So let's just work it out. The first 579 is going to be subject to 2%. So 579 by 2% works out at 11 euros and 58 cents. The amount, uh, the next amount is the amount between 924 less 579 so 924 less 579 so the amount of 345 of the salary is going to be subject to 4% and 345 by 4% comes to 1380 the balance of the salary is 51 euros and i'm getting that by subtracting 975 from 924 which gives me 51 euros and that is subject to 7%. So 51 by 7% is 357. So my total USC for the period, uh, or to date, is 1158 plus 1380 plus 357 brings me to 2895. And that's my USC to date, up as far as with 3. Just to recap on that, that has got by multiplying 579 by 2%, the next 345 of the salary by 4%, and the balancing 51% of the salary is at 7%. When I come over here and want to work out the USC for this particular week, because the USC to date up to week 3 is 28.95, I subtract what has previously been deducted to date, which is 12.28. So 28.95 less 12.28 looks at a deduction in this period of 16.47. In the last week, we're back to paying 200, receiving 250 euros in week four. The cumulative pay today date is 1.225. Just looking at our cutoffs, because the pay exceeds the standard rate cut off one, we are going to be looking at USC at 2% and also USC at 4%. But are we going to be looking at the 7% rate this week? And the answer is no, because the cut off for the 4% rate is 1,232 euros and the pay is less than that, being 1,225. So what we're looking at here is, we're looking at 7.72 multiplied by 2%, which comes to 15.44 and the remainder of the pay which is 453 and I'm getting that from subtracting 1225 less 772 is going to be t a subject to USC at 4% which comes to 18 euros and 12 cents. So the cumulative USC to date is 
adding 15.44 and 18.12 coming to 33.56. Take away what was previously paid which is 28.95 and the amount due for this particular week is 4.61. That is the basic cumulative basis of USA.